Hi and welcome everybody. It's Ruth here. It's a Friday night. Yay. <laughs> Happy weekend time. So I thought it'd be nice to play with some scraps of DSP because let's face it, we've all got scraps of patterned paper, whether it's things that we've stamped or it's patterned paper that we've kept. And I just want to do some really simple card making with it. I had to do make a commissioned card for uh, a friend of mine, it's, she's got her, her daughter's going to have a lovely birthday and she she asked me to make a special card. So I made a rainbow strip today. Now I'll show you what I played with. I'm not going to actually show you. I can't show you the card until she's obviously the, the daughter's had the birthday. But um, I was having a little play and created this fab rainbow strip out of the Regal's cardstock. And I thought I so should do this more often because it's so simple, so easy to put together. And there's just such infinite variety you can get. So I thought, I know what, I'm going to go through some of my DSP and just, you know, when you've used little chunks out of DSP, you've got a bit that you've used up. I thought I'm just going to straighten them all off, you know, that kind of thing. So that's what I've done. I've just used off, off cuts and bits and pieces and thought... I'd pair it with maybe some nice flowers. So I've just pre-cut a few flowers here. You know, we'll see see how it see how the evening transpires and and see what we're going to make. So hello, if you're watching on the replay, it's always great to have your company because I get to read your lovely comments. Now I just want to say something about the comments. If you comment and you think, hmm, I can't see my comment. Bear with. Let me just take a swig of this drink. That's because at the moment I am vetting all my comments because there are some nasty bots around that are leaving nasty comments. Not They're not nasty in themselves. They've just got horrid pictures associated with them. And I don't want to inflict that on my lovely followers. So I've decided for now that all the comments need to be verified before they all show up. So sometimes that take, might take a few hours because I've not got around to checking my device or sometimes that might be straight away so it all depends but rest assured that as long as um, you don't say anything nasty uh, the comments will show up eventually so let's have a look I've got my good old stamping seal here because I found this is a really easy way to uh, get some strips of paper down I'm going to say a quick hello to everybody who's watching on the live. Thank you for choosing to spend a Friday evening with me when you guys could be doing so many other things. Did you all watch Phantom of the Opera earlier? It was on. It's on uh, e on YouTube at the moment. Hi, Deborah, Nessa, Christine, Valerie, Wendy, Sharon, Martina, Melanie, Kerry, Donnie. Helen, is that a different Helen than the other Helen? Diane, Vicky, Bev, Wendy... Monica, hello. Amanda, hello. Ah, oh, lovely to see you all. So I get my, oh, just got to twiddle it along a little bit because it's just caught there. Uh, put a bit of good old stamping seal down. And I tend to do it, you know, across, across the, the sides, basically. And a bit in the middle. And that should be enough then to start sticking my lovely pieces of paper down. So what I do is, most of these are about six inches long. So what I do is go with the rough, the size, the rough size of whatever my strips are. And then that will dictate to me how much I can put these at an angle. Because they've got a basic, they've got a reach, haven't they? They've got a reach across, across there. So let's see if that will reach. Yes, it will. These are they're all going to get cut down later. And I'm just going to enjoy. I don't know if I move that over there, you'll get to see some of these lovely patterns and you can shout shout out. Oh, I like that one. Look at that, that gorgeous kind of mint macaron colour with gold and that next to the brick. I love playing with patterns and juxtaposing and going. Oh, that's an unusual combination. But see, we could have a lovely floral next to that. Oh, love that. And then what about a nice little strip of white and gold? So do you notice that I'm, 
I, I should be going a bit lower down. I should go as low as I can actually, because we can cut off these extra excess bits and use them later. I'm just going to see if I've got another bit of that brickwork because I wouldn't mind repeating some of these. Oh, so I do have a little one there, so I might just wait a minute and put that a bit further up. Let me see if I've got some sort of pinky colour that I can repeat. Oh, there's a nice stripe. Let's do that, shall we? A little bit of stripey there. Then I'm going to bring in my little bit of brickwork. And now I'm right at the corner, I can see that I need a little bit of extra glue. Oh, Donny, have you got your storm coming towards you, my darling? Oh, that's not good, is it? Sorry, I've been just reading, catching up with comments. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Denise. Hi, Nadia. Great to see you. Hi, Kelly. Right, just a little, little nick there of something something blue just see what else I've got that I want to pop on there um, oh, I might just do that little bit of pink there okay so now at this point I'm thinking hmm I can reuse some of those that are hanging off the end there so all I do is flip that up and this is also a great way to you know sometimes if you cut a piece of cardstock and you like twang the end end by accident like you know it's got a bit of a crease in it well this is a great way to use those big pieces of card up um and not waste them just cover cover up your boo-boos or even cards that you started stamping and then gone hmm i'll turn it over and then you started stamping and gone oh that doesn't work and you you think oh what a waste of card stock well if it's a nice big piece like this keep it and do this on it you know Obviously, don't keep them indefinitely. I'm not, not suggesting you should, you know, just hold on to rubbish. But um, this is a handy way of covering up mistakes and just because you just need a card base. So, what about? Oh, I've got a nice little bit of yellow. Oh no, I want to keep that floral for later. I'll keep that for later. I just want some sort of um, kind of strip of colour there. Um, I wonder if I could get away with just using a bit of... No, that doesn't work. Let's see what other pink I've got. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. Oh, you're welcome, Donny. Yes, come and shelter from the storm in here, Donny. Have you got all your shutters in place? How do you do your prepping? Right, where's that little bit of bricky? That's it. I wanted that one back over here, didn't I? There we go. Now we are getting to a point where I should find all those little shorty bits, shouldn't I? Because I'm going to need those in a second. Uh, oh, where did I put them all? I just threw them over here. I should have thought about Oh, there's a, no a nice little bit there. So, right, I'll keep these up here. That's what I should do. I should be sensible. Little corner, might use that. Okay, let's have a little bit of this pink. Another bit of this lovely gold foiled paper. Then Oh, look. Oh, look at that. I hardly get any wastage with putting that there, do I? Goodness me, it's terrible, isn't it? I'm frugal even with scraps. <laughs> a little bit of glue on there. And then I can pop that there like that. Give it a good old rub. Uh, you're looking through the group's photos for sympathy one sheet wonders layout use uh, here yeah um oh i did do one a while back and they were kind of blues and grays it will be in the anything sort of sympathy 
that would be useful for sympathies are likely to be in the masculine section of my playlist. Uh, sorry, I do have a playlist for masculine. Uh, the occasional one sheet wonder is appropriate. It's a, it's all about the colours, I think, and not making it too busy. No, mind you, having said that, yeah, some of them are quite busy, but there's there's a, sed a sedateness about them. You know, they're not too over the top, not too bright. Okay, so um, when I finished sticking everything down, I found it very handy to go and rub over everything with a bone folder. Now, I do this for two reasons. One, obviously, to get everything to stick down, but the second reason is... You know when you cut a piece of paper with the trimmer, there's almost like a right side and a wrong side, isn't there? You end up with this kind of like beveled edge. So where you cut down with the blade, it the paper kind of curls round, doesn't it? So it means that, that when you look at the, the piece of paper from the back side, it, it looks like there's a little lip to it. And I I don't like that. I don't that's just me. I don't like it. So the way to get rid of it is to get your bone folder, because you might have used right side, wrong side as you were sticking, is to get your bone folder and rub over everything that you stuck down, but pay particular attention to the seams, because I, I probably can't convey this very well in the video, but I can see that this green piece here, that's the wrong side. But when I rub over it with my bone folder, it just sort of like pushes the fibres together and it makes it really super smooth and really nice. So I would recommend you do that. If you don't have a bone folder, then just something hard but clean. Like you could possibly even use one of your blocks, but make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so it just seems to finish the work really well now just be careful when you get to the end pieces because sometimes at the ends they haven't been stuck you know it's not it's lifting a bit so be careful you don't catch catch them but that is my top tip for doing this technique is to make sure you go over it with a bone folder and it just makes it all look really smooth and fabulous all right so who else is on here hi tanya glenna uh or if you're terminally lazy, run it through the big shot. Yeah, but this is quite satisfying though, I must admit. Quite, quite satisfying. I lost my corner. No, my corner's... Oh, did I lose my corner? No, it's no, it's stuck in there. It is stuck. It just looks like part of the cardstock, that's all, because it pale. it's pale. No, it is there. Maybe I should have done it another colour, so it doesn't look like it's missing. Oh well, it is stuck down though. Right, let's do another one. This time I want to make quite good use of... I've got loads of the Forever Greenery papers here. So let's make use of those. So again, I'm going to go over with my seal. My stamping seal. Now you could do this with Tombow. The only thing is that it would start drying if you tried to cover it completely. So... By doing this, it stays tacky and you can just like keep going, keep working. Right, so I've got some nice pieces of the Forever Greenery papers here. And I thought it'd be nice again to mix that with, I don't know, some stove. Oh, I see, I still love this sort of almost mother of pearl look. It's, it's such an elegant paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, so I've got that one. Oh, I've got a bit of that. Go away, go away, go away. Um, that's, a bit, that's a bit bigger, a bit more of a pattern there. You get to see it more. And then I'm also going sort of thin, thin to thick sort of pieces of paper as well. That's the other thing I'm doing. And then, oh, get a bit of luxury in there as well. And then maybe a bit of, a bit of stone. In there, and then a little bit of green. All right, that will do. Yes, don't don't over apply the bone folder. Yeah, you're right. It does 
yeah, if you rub it too much. I don't know if there's any difference with a Teflon folder. I know there are some people who absolutely swear by those Teflon bone folders. Um, they're a little bit pricey, but apparently they are worth the money if you can afford one. Hi, Tashana. Yes, you do end up with glue in places that you don't want it. <laughs> Story of a crafter, Deborah. A bit like glitter in it. Right, turn that round. That make my life a little bit easier. So now I'm looking at these sort of shorter ends and thinking, right, where am I going to be placing them? So that one's probably going to go about there. So I'm going to put that there to remind me I want that to go there. And... Oh, um, oh, my pop bit of that green and gold there. Oh, I've got a piece of this. Will that fit? Mm, will it? Will it? Will it? No, not quite. Okay, so that can go. Oh, unless I put that one. No. I'm very tempted to use that one because I can always cut this down a smidge, can't I? Just feels a shame to waste that because that just seems the right right amount there. And I'll use that one there. Then a little bit of that green. And before I do that, I'm just going to pop a little bit more in the corner because I know it's going to need it. And once again, use that little grey bit in... Oh no, hold on, let's see if I've got another bit. That would be really boring, wouldn't it, to do that to that corner as well. So, Wendy, are you saying you have a Teflon bone folder then? Who, who's got one? Who can vouch for them? Hello, Kathleen Whipple. Lovely to have you with us. I don't often say people's second names. It's just that you've got such a lovely one. So. Oh, oh Wendy refuses to pay the price. Shall we all club together for Wendy? And then club together for me. <laughs> Oh, you have one. Oh, Zoe, go for it. It's all about coordinating it, you see. Right. Oh, I'm getting a bit addicted now. I think, yeah, well, maybe we'll, we'll go to four and then and then we'll, we'll finish them off. And I've, I've deliberately cut out some yellow pieces because there are some really lovely patterned yellow bits here that we can maybe mix in with some green. Oh, I can use that bit that I didn't use earlier. So there we go. Oh, it's looking lovely already. Ah, so it does cut down on the shine, everybody. So it is worth worth the money. Maybe worth putting on your Christmas list, Wendy. Hi, Janice. Janice, I did not get to the post office today, I'm afraid. It was one of those planned to do a lot days that then sort of didn't quite happen. I had some important phone calls and things like that to do, so. Right. Well, May has been very productive. She got given a knitting loom. Um, and it's basically the circular... Th oh, no, that's the wrong one. Quick. Oh, rescue it. Right, no, that's the too short, that one. So I'll have to wait and put it somewhere else. Um, yeah, sorry, it's a circular plastic thing with pegs sticking out of it. And you basically, it's like a massive, um, what they call those uh, knitting, peg, peg knitting things, French knitting, but got lots of pegs around it. And the other day I was having a bit of a clear out of my wool 
and I had a bag of wool that I was going to get rid of and I basically dug it, dug the wool back out again because we put three strands of wool together and she's knitted this really cosy warm hat with it so it's fabulous we just need to make a pom-pom to put on the top of it and I think she may even wear it out <laughs> that'd be really nice for her to be able to wear something that she's made so all oh, right, so I definitely I do want that one there. I was being a bit cheeky trying to get that down there without having my fingers in, in the right place. Right, let's go for a bit of a green. I want to use something bright. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not that bright, but that will do. And then a little bit of that floral. Just on the end there. Hi, Gail. Lovely to see you. Oh, Janice, I'm not sending you Christmas cards. Is that okay? Are they meant to be? I can add Christmas cards. For those of you who have Amazon, though, do you set yourself up with wish lists? OK, so I'm thinking out loud, ladies, because there's quite a few of you on here, about 60 of you, and some of you are my actual customers. I've been thinking, because you're getting all getting to know each other and everything, would it be... It, interesting or helpful or lovely to set up a gift like a wish list and gift system where now I'm, I'm really sorry this I'm going to have to exclude um, my non-European friends as being able to be recipients of this but there's no reason why you can't take part in it unless I team up with somebody internationally to do this but anyway, I've just that's a thought out loud. That doesn't mean it's a conceived thought. Um, where we set up a Facebook group, and it's going to be a very strict Facebook group in that when you post something, whenever you 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 can only post once, and that post will be a wish list of some small-ish stamping up items. And if somebody would like to bless you with a gift, they get in contact with me. And at the end of every month, when I place my orders, my final order, I will add. So obviously you have to pay, pay for the item, but I will add whatever pe things that people have decided to gift to somebody else to my my order that I was going to place anyway. And I will just charge like a nominal, like maybe a pound per postage or something. Nothing, nothing too expensive because they're only going to be small items. And I will then send that gift to whoever you wanted to gift. Now, if you want to also, you know, if you want to say who it's from, you can do or you can keep it anonymous. It's up to you. Uh, who's asking for cards? Uh, Janice was asking for cards for Ronald McDonald House in... Oh, I'm not quite sure. She'll have to tell you. Why is Glenna crying? Excluded! Well, I've, I've just thought, because Deborah Mitchum is a American Stampin' Up! demonstrator, there's no reason why she couldn't set one up herself. So, any... If you're somewhere else... Um, in the world and you want to set up, set up your gift list amongst your customers, you can do that. Um, I mean, the only way I could do it is if I collaborated with a demo. So in America, I could collaborate with Deborah. I'm, I'm literally thinking out loud here. I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen, but I'm just saying it could. So I could collaborate with Deborah as long as Deborah was happy to place orders and send them out to people. But I don't know what the American postage system's like. You might have to do it where you charge 10% or something. Um, um, and then the Canadians can set it up amongst themselves. Um, I mean, I'm happy kind of to set up a, an international group. 
um, but you would have to, with the post that you create, so you, everybody would have one post and you'd have to say where you were from. You'd have to then put your little wish list. Now, you could go back in and edit your own post. Like if someone's bought you something, then you can take that thing off your list, your wish list. Um, or I can go in and edit things because I'd be the editor. Titian thinks it sounds great. Well, I don't know whether just to trial trial it in the in Europe just to see if it works or not. Um, because I'm a member of um, a Facebook group that's that does it through Amazon Prime. It's just a private little group that that a friend invited me to. And so what they, we do is we link our Amazon wish lists to that. So that inspired me. And I thought, how can we do this so that we can gift each other Stampin' Up! items? And obviously it will be helping, um, you know, I'm going to be really upfront and open here. It is going to help my business. But I'm. it's about also blessing somebody else. Obviously, if you are a demonstrator and you would like, you see something on somebody's gift list and you want to send something to them well it's up to you you can contact them privately obviously but that means that i won't be earning from yeah, yeah. i'd rather people didn't do that actually uh, <laughs> um because it's my idea but there we go um yeah there's a few toronto torontoans to torontians it's bobby on here as well hello bobby yes there's a few canadians isn't there yeah, I'd, in a way, I'd rather not have to, I'd rather not have to, um, what's the word, manage the group if it's in Canada. I'd rather just be responsible for mine. But, I, I mean, I would do it so that anyone can join the group and ask to purchase for somebody. But if you're not in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or... Holland, I, I'm not allowed to purchase and send things to you. That's that's it. Although, actually, I've just realised, no, you can't buy for somebody else outside of my region because that would be contravening my IDA. No, I can't do it. So, you guys internationally, you are going to have to buy for each other internationally. I've just realised. Because I, th I don't think you can't pay for an item if you're not from my region oh bobby oh you are a big fan my darling thank you you're so kind i'm loving this paper can you tell it's so nice all right i want to mix it in with some other bits um, where's my little bits of oh i've got a bit of sort of woven like fabricy looking stuff here Lennis says, I've always dreamed of living in the UK. Well, you're very welcome to come over. Not sure that you'd be able to get back in the country, <laughs> your country just now. Bobby, you're such a darling. Honestly. What do you want? What, what, what do you need me to do for you? <laughs> What's the favour? <laughs> I'm joking. I know Bobby very well, so, you know, I can joke with him like this. Yeah, you just don't need to apply it all over. Yeah, you just don't have to because it, you know, it's sticking perfectly well. And actually, even if I had to trim off a bit of card from either side, the fact that I haven't gone right to the edge is fine. So it seems to be working. Oh, look, will that fit in there? No, not quite. Um, what's on the back of there? No, I want a bit of green, I think. Oh, will that fit? Oh, no. They're all just, just shy. Let's pop a bit of you down there. There we go. You can go there. I run tape glue around the edges and down the centre. There we go. 
So, Cindy, is this a tried and tested technique with you? Oh, I did want to do the herringbone pattern. Um, Ellen did it on World Card Making Day. We we were doing this system of or using strips up on World Card Making Day, and she did the herringbone, which I did a long time ago. If you look back quite far in my videos, I have done it. But, um, and that's a really easy. Would you like to see me do it? I can do it after this one. Generally, you need strips that are the same size, which I'm not sure these are. That would only be my that would be my downfall. But I'm sure we can make it happen if needs be. Just trying to see if I've got any other masculine -y, masculine pieces. <laughs> that's funny Titian <gasps> oh yeah hey why cut a piece of paper when you've already got a bit the same right size eh not me not on my watch <laughs> look I'm even frugal look I'm turning that round so that that angle is fitting really nicely that's how terrible I am at doing you know frugality right what a green in here now a bit of a green, a little bit of green, a little bit there. Don't you just hate it when hubby won't admit he's deaf? Just heard a mouse run across the attic and he said, well, I can't hear it. I know, it's like, if you can't hear it, it can't be real. <laughs> That's funny. Um, who said, I'd love that black... I'd love I love that black canvas Hessian DSP. Yes, it's good. It's good stuff. Right, so I'm just gonna shove that in there like that for the corner. Put that up there. <laughs> You've been telling him for weeks. Oh dear. Yeah, do you want to borrow Christine's cat? Oh, and Martina could send you about five. She's got enough cats. Are they good mouse catchers, Martina? The frames might work in sympathy cards. But the frames of... What do you mean? So if I set up this Facebook gifting group, should I call it Artful Stamping Gifting? Because I'm trying to keep everything Artful Stampin'. I've got art, my Artful Stampin' team. I've just rebranded, renamed them. So they're Artful Stampin' team. I have Artful Stampin' space, which is for my followers. And I'm also, I'm doing lots of thinking out loud tonight, guys, you know. So I would like some feedback on some of this. For my customers, I'm wondering whether to have the Artful Stampin' VIPs. And... Uh, just have a special area for them. Right. That lush. Love it. Okay, so the way we do the herringbone, you do, I don't know, actually, you might not need to have things that are exactly the same. I tend to start with a piece like this at a right angle. Okay. So might I might resort to Tombow for this because. This could get tricky. And then you place the other piece so that it follows the line of your right, your other bit of the right angle and follows that line up there. Okay, so that's the trick. And also move it just a smidge away. So there's a gap. A bit like, you know, when you're grout, you know, you're tiling. Because that's what we're kind of aiming for, a kind of tiled effect. So I think I might just put stamp and seal on there. Turn that so it's a bit easier for me to see. Although I'm not going to use that because I've just realised it's white on white. It doesn't really show up. Let's go for something else. Oh, let's go for something. I was going to say, let's go for something pre. 
Let's give her a bit of pink. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm just being careful to make sure that's at right angles. And I'm going to actually just snip these off straight away, roughly, because I might want to use these pieces in a moment. Okay, so then you get your next piece, and then you arrange so it meets up to there. And this is where I think I'm going to start using my Tombow. Very impressive paper for VIP. <laughs> Artful stamping, very impressive paper. Okay. Now, much as I'd love to use that, I think I'll save that for maybe a dark background. Let's go with this lovely peachy kind of colour. So you just need to sort of put the glue where you think the middle of the paper is going to be because Tombow is really good at squishing and squidging and moving. So once you push, give it a good of push, it's sort of, it's moving around underneath there. So it will stick really nicely. So I'm just going to roughly cut that off. Uh, then the other fun thing you can do is start playing with this because you could even do go across like that and then go oh hold on go that way you can't you could start doing that you could play with it a bit you don't have to kind of follow this pattern all the way through why wouldn't you place the scraps immediately next because the idea is to make it look like tiling serene you can yes you could do that yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't. I might do that in a minute, actually. I've never done it where I've done them right next to each other, to be honest, because I've always seen this demonstrated like this. So, but your idea is fabulous. I might try that. It just, it just never occurred to me, to be quite honest with you. I can't do that that way, can I? Right. Oh, stop it, girls. You're making me blush. Oh, no, that's a bit too, too like what I've just used. Um. Does that fit in there? Hmm, not quite. Oh, you know what? I've also got some scraps of plaid here and I've just spotted this little piece here. Oh, that they're fine. Oh, Kelly's the opposite. She's never spaced them. Ha ha. Isn't that funny? So basically the same, exactly the same technique, but with this small difference between the two of us. Well, there you go. Isn't that interesting? You learn something new. Um, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't just like shake it up a bit. You could just have a piece across there and then do something else. You know, you could then go stripes, you know, there, and then do something else there. You know, it's, it's pretty open, this technique. Do I follow a particular colour scheme? Well, I did cut out scraps that I I had quite a bit of the forever greenery scraps to use up. So I kind of used that as my base and then thought, oh, it'd be nice to put some yellow. So I picked out some of the yellow bits from the ornate garden. And that's to be honest, has got quite a lot of greenery as well with it. And then I wanted to put some neutrals, so I just grabbed some offcuts of the textured essentials paper, which incidentally has got 15% off right now. Just saying. 
Um, and I don't know if, if there's... Is there money off Forever Greenery at the moment? I can't remember if that's in the sale or not. But there are quite a few papers in the sale. The back of my bar was done like this with a palette of wood, says Kelly. Well done. Yep, it's in the sale, says Wendy March. Is that because you'd have you've had a look, Wendy? Have you have you purchased? Have you perchance purchased from the sale? Oh, I can imagine it looks good. Because I guess it's quite standard to have like the panelling, isn't it? Like tongue, we call it tongue and groove in the UK, but I think you call it shiplap. The Americans call it shiplap. Sorry, Kelly, I don't know where you're from. I'm assuming you're from America, but could be you're not. Right, now I definitely want to put one of these over here. So I need to get something else there. So, hmm, I'm doing a bit of a yellow green yellow green theme there I'm not quite sure if I'm happy with that but I'll do that there oh no you just dropped a black ink pad on your project took my front off and my die go and upside put it upside down <laughs> oh no Arizona Arizona is that meant to be quite a dry hot place slowly getting to know my American geography through conversations I've had on YouTube Not yet, says Wendy. I've been so good. So good. But you're trying to convince yourself. <laughs> oh, I had a big bit of that over there. Hmm, okay. Got a bit of this. Okay, starting to see the, see the end of the tunnel here, guys. I think we'll pop that in there. This is a, you're watching me doing a lot of gluing and sticking tonight, I'm afraid. Gluing and sticking, that's the same thing, isn't it? No, it's not. Gluing and sticking. Glue, the act of applying glue. Sticking, the act of applying sticky paper to something else. Right, I think I'll probably need to leave that little white bit there. <laughs> that's funny 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 Wendy see Navarana is very fortunate because she doesn't live in a country that sells Stampin' Up! products so she gets to watch all the fun of everybody talking about things and then she just buys her own products from wherever she likes Let's see what little bits I've got left. I think I'll just stick that one there. Right, that's it. Yay! Got there in the end. Cindy says, I'm too t I'm too neat and even. Mine look as if an inebriated bricklayer did it. That's only when I get you up early, Cindy. Cindy's still sore because I got her up early on World Card Making Day. 
Oh, have you? Oh, dear, Navarana. Okay, so the reason I flip this over to see what I'm doing is because I need to cut one straight line. And then I can do this, cut this, and I know that it will be the correct angle. <laughs> yes glue then stick yes in that order okay so now I'm going to just trim off these edges let's take a tiny sliver off there excuse the noise so this is the stampin up trimmer that was available during celebration and is only available for demonstrators currently it's a nifty little tool. I have had a couple of customers buy them off me because I can order them for you. So if anyone's interested in purchasing one, let me know because at the end of the month I can... Oh no, hold on, I've got to put it on a demonstrator order. Hmm. I'm trying to think when I'm going to be placing a demonstrator order. Oh, I might do actually at some point. We're nearly there. Sorry about this, everybody. This is the boring bit. You can all talk about this yourselves. Would you save that off and cut? Mm, there's barely anything there, to be honest. I am literally cutting off a sliver just to neaten it all up because I, I, I don't trust how neat I was with the cutting earlier. Ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> bought some okay great oh good Navarana well, your cards are gorgeous I hope they do so if you don't follow Navarana she's on Instagram and also actually if you click on her name she's got just started a YouTube channel showing various mixed media techniques so is the curvy bundle going to be available in the UK and Europe yes it is so the curvy bundle is something that's going to be coming out next month so if you're a demonstrator you can order it early to have a play with I haven't decided if I'm ordering it yet but I think Janice has ordered it so if you follow Janice she may be showing it off have you got yours already yet Janice I think Denise has shown it off in a video as well Right, goodness me, what's the time? Oh, 49 minutes. Right, I'm going to try and decorate some of these in the last 10 minutes because I'm not going to do the other herringbone effect because I don't feel I've got time now. Let's get the camera up a bit. Okay. Right, so I want to just use some of these daisies that I've already cut out and just arrange them somewhere pretty the curvy bundle says martina yeah it's it's a bundle of products martina that they're coming out with just i think it's just like a little limited edition and um it's it's sort of like not not it's not in the main catalog it's just a kind of like a little extra stamp up you won't want you won't want it martina i mean you know 
You just no, you don't need anything else, do you? I have it, but I'm preparing a showcase for a team event. Ah, okay. Excellent. Good, good. Uh, pop that up there. Pop a few more leaves on there. I'm sure Janice will have lots of fun with it. Ah, uh, okay, Wendy. Yeah, I'd like to have it. I'd like to see what that looks like before I order it. So, for those of you who aren't demonstrators, we are going to be having our get together online this year rather than in person. I'm so glad Stampin' Up! decided to do that way back when because we would still wouldn't have been able to meet properly, really. So there's a bundle that they've said that we can pre-order if we'd like to. And But I think I'd like to see... Oh, it's on the demo site now. Okay. What, the actual picture or the information? Because I wanted to have a look at the picture of it, to be honest. Kelly, is the, is the picture on there as well? Oh, yes. I, we thought it might be dragonflies. And I say we, the royal we. Um, some demos were thinking, you know, we're trying to guess what it was. Oh, so is that... Um, so there's, is there a dragonfly punch as well? Oh, I'm a bit of a sucker for butterflies and dragonflies. I think I have to get it. Oh, so this is a preview. This is going to be a preview of the an item in the spring summer catalogue. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stick to I think three cards tonight because. Tams, what's the word? Tams are wasting. And I've got to be up for my class in the morning. Good morning, Ellen. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Yes, back of the class. Do your lines. I mustn't be late for Ruth's class. I mustn't be late for Ruth's class. You love the middle one, says Kelly. Oh, good. Oh, now, I did get a new product the other day that I haven't told you about. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, I had it here a minute ago. Oh, here it is. Now, the reason I bought it was because we don't have any Ickle flower punches at the moment. And I just needed a flower punch. So, I'm just looking at the colours that are on here. There's some pinks, aren't there? So I might just get some pink. Some pink flowers. Uh, I remember, and... I'll put some for window as well. Just some orange flowers as well. Okay. Oh, look at that. All those flowers in one go. And I was hoping that I could just move this paper along. Just about. Oh, no, I have to really carefully see look at what I'm doing. I was hoping I could move it along. I'd be, I'd be able to cut a few more in the spaces. Did I do it? Oh that's not too bad is it? You know me, Miss Frugal. Gotta squeeze out as many as many bits as possible.
That's not too bad. Got a couple there. Oh, look at that. It's just like confetti falling on my flowers, on my paper. Look, that makes a really nice centre, actually. Maybe for those ones. That might just need a nice great big gem in the middle of that, won't it? I'll get my old embellishments out. So sorry about this, guys. I know that these are retired. No, that's the wrong kind of pink. Right, let me just take a squid, a squid, a squid. Oh, swig. Yes, many flowers can be used everywhere because I'm I'm a bit I was I don't like it when I have to use retired products. So when I realized it had all those little flowers in there, I was like, oh man, I'm going to definitely get that cuz that can be so useful. Right. So you stay there now, won't you? Be good. I was watching Sherry Shostakovich trying to make sense. It's quite tricky to work out, apparently. What the... to try and get the little flowers. Now I'm wondering if I use my little stylus. Oh my goodness, that's so gorgeous. You had an Ovaltine incident? Uh-oh. Tell us all about it. What happened? Did Ovaltine get lost? Off to dinner. Oh, my... my Deborah Mitchum is off to dinner. Sorry, I thought that was the other Deborah. Have a good dinner. Nice to see you, Deborah Mitchum. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, look, that would be beautiful in there, wouldn't it? I'm just going to get my... I think I'll use my tweezers for this. Now, if you've got the multi-purpose tool thing, this would be, you can use that if you haven't got one of these, but got that. Um, oh, put another one there. Oh, you're not keen. Oh, oh, well, be grateful, Wendy. Whenever, whenever demonstrators say to me, oh, I don't like what they're offering, I go, you know what? Be grateful. It's just one less thing you have to buy. So... There's pl there'll be plenty of other things that will tempt you. So, don't really worry. Why only demos, says Vanessa. What's that for? What, to see the new items? Oh, and it was the last of her oval team. Oh my goodness. That is tragic. Oh, Vanessa, that's... um. Are you, if you're asking why only demos can see these products, it's because we've got... A, oh, sorry, I've, I've start, I have started telling you about this special event that we've got in November. And as part of the special event, we if we were to go in person, we would be allowed to order some products earlier so in the november event we get to see the products coming out in january and we usually get to pre-order in december but if you go to the event you get to pre-order in november so stampin up have said that we can order this one suite of products a bit earlier because some of the presentations that they're going to be doing in november they're going to be using these products so that's why we have to order it early and um, have have access to them. 
it's so that we can also come it, so we can come up with samples and things to show you guys does that answer your question yeah we were talking about these ovaltine cookies the other day and christine is very helpfully oh we we're talking about recipes weren't we so if you've got recipes to share christine has done a file in artful stamping space Right, I'm going to move on from that one, I think. Oh, unless I just scatter a few of these little pretty pink things. Because they're just so nice. Yeah, not enough caffeine in it for Martino, is there? <laughs> Oh dear. Right, come on people. Not people, come on Ruth. Get on with it. I need to get to bed. Alright, then we'll shove one of these. There. Oh, I can hear the beep, beep, beep of the bread maker. My husband's putting on the bread for the morning. Oh, you know what? Sometimes it's nice to layer this, these ones inside this as well. Oh, and if I had time, I would cluster like maybe three of these pink ones in the centre there. I might get to that. But I'm going to cheat tonight, guys, I'm afraid, and just shove that on it. There we go. Right, last one. That's not cheating, says Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> it's embellishing. Blinging up. That would make a nice top on a box. Yes, it would. Like a decorative box topper type thing. Yeah. Definitely. Where are you from then, Gail and Sing? What part of the world do you head from? I just want to use up some of these yellow flowers now. Those flower embellishments is something I have to work on. What, these? These ones? Well, you did a nice job of the card you sent me. I thought it was lovely. That was it, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. I, yes, I remember now. We've had this conversation before. I'm so sorry. I do forget. I think I went to school with a girl from Trinidad and Tobago. Do you do you call yourself Trin Trini? Um, Trinies. I'm sure this girl said she was like a Trini. 
and I had a friend from Barbados, so she was Bayesian. I'm back, says Julie. We didn't know you'd gone, Julie. Where did you go? Linda, what time do you call this? I have all sorts of scraps. I'm really interested in doing this. Oh, brilliant, Lorraine. Good. Glad to be some inspiration to you. It's a fabulous technique for just creating a really funky background. And then you just... I mean, to be honest, you don't even need all this amount of floral embellishing. You could probably get away with... Um, put in a nice sentiment you know I, I'm just all about the flowers so you know I just don't know when to stop so. just squeezing a few more flowers out of this Julie went to hang the washing. It's got to be done. You're going to be in Del Mar next week. Where's Del Mar? Trini or Trinbagonians? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, Del Mar in America. Okay. I imagine there are probably lots of Del Mars around the world, but, you know, each one has its own Del Mar. Because isn't Del Mar, does that not mean by the sea? Like La Mer. Oh, how cute is that? Look, that centre. Look at that. Oh my goodness, 80 people watching. That's so cool. Hello, everybody. Hello, 80 people. This is what 80 people feels like. 80 people watching me in one go. Begonian so sounds somewhat flowery. It does, doesn't it? Oh, yes, like begonia. Well, I think they have, do have some beautiful flowers in Trinidad and Begonia. To blah, 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 blah. Trinidad and Tobago because it's tropical tropical island isn't it oh, look that's what you can do with all your little flowers how cute is that oh, so cute right my darlings Gonna do a bit of. <laughs> I am convinced I have to order that punch now, says Glenna. Oh my goodness. Well, I wasn't convinced about the, the stamp set. I had a little play with the stamp set at Esther's house, and it was all right for me. You know, I, I didn't mind it. So I thought I'd order the punch because I felt I'd get more more out of it and spend my money on something else so let's have a play with what colour oh sorry putting a shadow over you guys there um, so that's old olive let's get a bit of yellow out oh have I, I haven't got a yellow have I got a dark yellow cut already that's daffodil delight although I've used crushed curry for the I think I'll have to cut crushed curry And then maybe a nice pinky peach. Actually, I think I might do pinky peach for that one. Because there's pink in the background there. Or even a grey. Hmm, 
not quite convinced actually. Anyway, lots of options. I just thought you'd like to see what it would look like. So. Oh, sorry, I missed a comment. Melanie, I couldn't bring my craft stuff with me this weekend. My husband will be meeting meeting me on Monday morning with our oldest dog who's going to have surgery oh no we have a team event tomorrow long day of crafting oh cool Wendy have a lovely time um, Wendy's off to bed good night Nostar Vankayad these are so lovely Ruth oh thank you Monica yep Yellow, you like this one, the yellow one. Okay, so one, two or three, you can vote. Which one is your favourite? And I might do another giveaway on this one as well. So if you want to comment, don't not in the chat, but in the comment section, then please do and tell me which one is your favourite. This one needs a few little pink flowers on it now. I can, I feel, but never mind. I'm not doing that now. So I thought now, Nada was, oh Nada, Nosta. Oh, you thought Nosta was Spanish? No, Nosta is good night in Welsh. Yeah, all three of them are my favourite. Beautiful cards, worth the effort. Yes, it was worth the effort, and also you get a sense of accomplishment because now, now again, I'm going to give you my tip for batch making these. That it's a sort of thing that you can. You know, come into your craft room for 15 minutes, do some chopping of strips and then watch a film and just sit and glue while you're watching a film. So it doesn't feel like you use up much time doing it. So you could just create a whole load of backgrounds and then have them stashed away. And then when you think, oh, I need, a, you know, a greeny grey one. See, this one, I think, would have made quite a good sympathy card without all those yellow flowers on it. You could have just put a lovely sen sympathy sentiment in the middle. Now... I have got this thing about simp if you ever put with sympathy on a card, it should always be straight on, never a jaunty angle. So never twist the words so that they go off at an angle. Always have them straight on. But this this diagonal would be fine. And I think the colours would be lovely for that as well. So it's very gentle. So that would make a really lovely uh, sympathy card. And this one's very jolly. This needs a few more pink flowers, I think. Um, but yeah, it's the sort of thing you can just, you know, fiddle with because you don't have to think about it too hard when you're doing the sticking bit. All you've got to, you know, you just sort of, you just butt, butt the paper up against the one that you've done before and you just keep going, you know. And sometimes it's better not to look too hard at the patterns. Don't, don't overthink it too much. You know, maybe cut out your pieces of paper in pattern families or colour families. Um, and then you know it's going to work out good. Take out your frustration whacking up papers. Whacking paper. What do you mean cutting? <laughs> Take care, Deborah. Do you mean Nostar? I think she meant Nostar. Her, her, her typing's not used to the Welsh yet. One, two, three, but they're all gorgeous. Thank you, Melanie. Right, you, thanks, Christine. Number one. Right, lots of love to you all. Been great to spend time with you and have a fabulous weekend. And whoever's doing my class in, ooh, less than, what's that, eight hours' time, I'll see you in the morning. OK, well, it will be my morning and you guys in Australia, it'll be evening. And for those of you here in the UK, it'll be morning as well. You want three on crushed carrot? Yes, I would agree with you there, Christine. Yeah, it needs it needs a crushed curry background. Yeah. Totes agreed. I mean, they also could be that way. You know, they don't have to be. Actually, I think I prefer that one that way because then you've got like a little area for a sentiment there. Both cute. Yeah, all these could be turned. Take care. See you next week. Bye, guys.